I know we have a ton to talk about, but I just want to say, like, I adore Shannon. Very pretty girl. Thank you. Very pretty girl. Kimber and Shannon have a lot of physical chemistry, connect emotionally, and share core values and beliefs. However, they're both heavily influenced by their family's opinions. So getting their family's blessing over the next two days is a critical step for both if they imagine marrying each other in the future. And I've heard a lot about you. Have you? Yeah, a lot. What about me? What's... Oh, yeah. I've heard and that's about... my sister, too, remember her? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Going to the dinner, like, I'm so nervous about my sister. She's very opinionated, and my sister has a lot of questions. On second chances, my sister gave an ass a hard time. How many guys are you dating currently? <laughs> a lot. Only three. Only three. What do the other two have that Shannon don't? I mean, there are some pros and cons with everybody. What don't you like about Shannon? I thought Shannon was a bit of a jokester. So I know she's judging right now in the back of her mind. She's totally judging. So I talk to Shannon like 50 times a day. I'm either like way too attached to him or it's been like longest two weeks. I don't mind still just voicing my opinion. Yeah, that common. You know, yeah. <laughs> Were you a good judge of his past girlfriends too? Yes. Did he always like make sure he had your approval? No, he didn't make sure I had it. You I gave, gave it, it anyway. anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of the things that we have in common is how important family is to us and how important the opinions of our family members are to us. Okay, can I ask some hard questions? Sure. Where did you're Las Vegas? Atlanta, Georgia. There is something that I want to tell you. So yeah, we haven't known each other for super long. But <laughs> I'm just Shannon and I live together. Oh. Don't stress my mama out. I'm sorry. When Kimber brings up the topic of moving in, I'm like, don't do that. I'm trying to like grab her leg. Like, let's change the subject. Let's keep everything surface. How do we get this deep this fast? Like, we're eating chicken. Now, like, we're talking about shacking up and it's like, I'm like, ah, my God. Shannon has said he won't shack. Oh. He'd have made a liar out of himself today, huh? I'm kind of in shock. I'm from the old school living together. That kind of don't go too well with me. I think when you make that commitment, you should be married. Live together in two weeks? Yeah. Have you lived with anyone before? A couple people before. A couple? Oh. How many people, can I ask? Oh. oh. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Yeah. OK, now we can yeah. get into a different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That kind of threw me for a loop. I'm not too happy about him being with somebody that lived with four people. That's a lot. And it's not like she's an old lady. So how many trial and errors do you need? <laughs> so you were saving moving in for marriage. So what are you going to save now? It's a trial period, it feels like, for me, you know? The truth is, if I go back to Vegas and he goes back to Atlanta, I'm not going to just decide to move to Atlanta if I have no idea what he's like, like when he's in his own space. We don't really have that opportunity being long distance. We only have Honeymoon Island. So do you want kids? Oh, oh snap. That's a discussion. Kids complicate things. What, do you have kids? No. OK, cool. Do you yeah, want kids? First. Eventually. I really don't think I want kids. Why not? The way that it changes your life, but, but you look I at don't it. think I ever am going to want those changes. I feel pretty, like, set. But I just don't like the closed-mindedness, like, 100% no kids. Everybody wants grandkids, right? I mean, right. when you get to be our age, and it's always been really hard for me for her to say, I don't want kids. I'm worried about Shannon's family accepting me, but I still don't want to be pressured to have kids. I still don't want to feel like it's an expectation that I am forced to fulfill based on other people's views on life. I want to jump in and say one thing. I've had a lot of conversations about it. Probably will continue to talk about it, but... I got, I got her to a maybe. A maybe. Uh, 